Before I ever ran a casino or got myself blown up, Ace Rothstein was a hell of a handicapper. I can tell you that. I was so good that whenever I bet, I could change the odds for every bookmaker in the country. I'm serious. I had it down so cold that I was given paradise on earth. I was given one of the biggest casinos in Las Vegas to run, the Tangiers, by the only kind of guys that can actually get you that kind of money, $62,700,000. I don't know all the details. Matter of fact, nobody knew all the details. But it should have been perfect. I mean, he had me, Nicky Santoro, his best friend watching his ass. And he had Ginger, the woman he loved on his arm. But in the end, we fucked it all up. It should have been so sweet, too. But it turned out to be the last time that street guys like us were ever given anything that fucking valuable again. At that time, Vegas was a place where millions of suckers flew in every year on their own nickel and left behind about a billion dollars. But at night, you couldn't see the desert that surrounds Las Vegas. But it's in the desert where lots of the town's problems are solved. And a lot of holes in the desert, and a lot of problems are buried in those holes. Except you gotta do it right. I mean, you gotta have the hole already dug before you show up with a package in the trunk. Otherwise, you're talking about a half hour, 45 minutes to dig it. Who could resist? Anywhere else in the country, I was a bookie, a gambler, always looking over my shoulder, hassled by cops day and night. But here, I'm Mr. Rothstein. I'm not only legitimate, but running a casino. And that's like selling people dreams for cash. I hired an old casino pal, Billy Sherbert, as my manager, and I went to work. For guys like me, Las Vegas washes away your sins. It's like a morality car wash. It does for us what Lourdes does for humpbacks and cripples. And along with making us legit, comes cash. Tons of it. I mean, what do you think we're doing out here in the middle of the desert? It's all this money. This is the end result of all the bright lights and the comp trips, of all the champagne and free hotel suites and all the broads and all the booze. It's all been arranged just for us to get your money. That's the truth about Las Vegas. We're the only winners. The players don't stand a chance. And their cash flows from the tables to our boxes, through the cage, and into the most sacred room in the casino. The place where they add up all the money, the holy of holies, the count room. Now this place was off limits. Even I couldn't get inside. But it was my job to keep it filled with cash, that's for sure. They had so much fucking money in there, you could build a house out of stacks of $100 bills. And the best part was that upstairs, the board of directors didn't know what the fuck was going on. I mean, to them, everything looked on the up and up, right? Wrong. The guys inside the counting room were all slipped in there to skim the joint dry. They'd do short counts, they'd lose fill slips, they'd even take cash right out of the drop boxes. And it was up to this guy right here, standing in front of about $2 million, to skim the cash off the top without anybody getting wise, the IRS or anybody. Now notice how in the count room nobody ever seems to see anything. Somehow somebody's always looking the other way. Now look at these guys, they look busy, right? They're counting money, who wants to bother them? I mean, God forbid they should make a mistake and forget to steal. Meanwhile, you're in and you're out. Past the Jagoff guard who gets an extra C note a week just to watch the door. I mean, it's routine. Business as usual. In, out, hello, goodbye, and that's all there is to it. Just another fat fuck walking out of the casino with a suitcase. Damn it! I'm trying to make it real compared to what? Suck it to me! In Vegas, everybody's gotta watch everybody else. Since the players are looking to beat the casino, the dealers are watching the players. The boxmen are watching the dealers. 
The floor men are watching the box men. The pit bosses are watching the floor men. The shift bosses are watching the pit bosses. The casino manager is watching the shift bosses. I'm watching the casino manager. And the eye in the sky is watching us all. Plus, we had a dozen guys up there, most of them ex-cheats, who knew every trick in the house. Get lost, Ginger. Get, Get lost. lost! Yes. Get lost? Yes. Well, how about that? Vegas, for a girl like Ginger, love costs money. Here's this guy reading the dealer's whole card and signaling his buddy at this table. And that's just what these hustlers look for. They cruise from casino to casino looking for weak dealers the way lions look for weak antelope. Operator, this is Mr. Rock. Get me Armstrong on Friday over at Pitt right away. BJ 19, second base of beer. Operator, I need Mr. Happy. Wow.
line, folks. Just give us some room, please. They never know what hit them, and if and when they do find out that they just got zapped by a cattle prod, they wish they really did have a heart attack. Turns out this guy and his fucking pals, they were knocking this place dead for years. There it is. Cheater's justice. Oh, God. Oh. Hey, no. 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 I wanted everybody to know that things were changed around here. We had to make an example of these pricks that the party was over. I'm just curious. I saw you shuffling your checks with your right hand. Can you do that with both hands? No. Can't do it with both hands? No, sir. Can you do it with your left hand? Oh, I, I never tried. So you were right? Y yeah. Meeting in the middle of the desert always made me nervous. It's a scary place. I knew about the holes in the desert, of course, and everywhere I looked, there could have been a hole. Normally, my prospects of coming back alive from a meeting with Nikki were 99 out of 100. But this time, when I heard him say, a couple of hundred yards down the road, I gave myself 50-50. you get off talking to people about me behind my back going over my head? What people? What people would you think I wasn't going to find out? I don't even know what you're talking about, Nick. No? You said I'm bringing heat on you? I got to listen to people because of your fucking shit? You're ordering me out? You better get your own fucking army, pal. I didn't do anything. I mean, I didn't order you or anybody. I only told Andy Stone that you had a lot of heat on you and that was a problem. You want me to get out of my own fucking town? Yeah, I said let, let the bullshit blow over for a while so I can run the casino. Anything goes wrong with the casino, it's my ass. It's not yours, it's my ass. Uh, I don't know whether you know this or not, but you only have your fucking casino because I made that possible. I... I'm what counts out here. Not your fucking country clubs or your fucking TV shows. And what the fuck are you doing on TV anyhow? You, you know, I get calls from back home every fucking day. They think you went batshit. I'm only on TV because I got to be able to hang around the casino. You understand that. You're you know that. Come on. You could have had the food and beverage job without going on television. You wanted to go on TV. Yeah, I did want to go on TV. That way I have a form. I can fight back. I'm known. People see me. They know they can't fuck around me like they could if I was an unknown. That's right. You're yeah. making a big fucking spectacle of yourself. Me? I wouldn't even be in this situation if it wasn't for you. You brought down so much fucking heat on me. I mean, every time I meet somebody here, the big question is, do I know you? Oh, sure. And now you want to bring your fucking license on me. No, is that I'm it? Nikki, when you asked me if you could come out here, what did I tell you? I mean, you asked me, and I knew you were going to come out no matter what I said, but what did I tell you? Do you remember what back, I told you? Back, back do you up, remember back what I told you? Back up a fucking minute here. One minute. I asked you, when the fuck did I ever ask you if I could come out here? Get this through your head, you, never... you. Get this through your head, you Jew motherfucker, you. You only exist out here because of me. That's the only reason. Without me, you personally, every fucking wise guy skull around, I'll take a piece of your fucking Jew ass. Then where you gonna go? Your fucking warrant don't ever go over my fucking head again, you motherfucker, you. one of the biggest casinos in Las Vegas to run for Tangiers. You know, if I did it, I'd have to run it my way. Nobody's gonna interfere with you running the casino, I guarantee you. Nicky, you're a guy. Make a lot of money for us. Or so keep a good eye on it. All right. Look at this place, it's made of money. What do you think about me moving out here? I just got to tell you, it's no joke out here. You got to keep a low profile. Right off the bat, they don't like guys like us. Oh, yeah, oh. You, you like your money a lot, yes, don't you? Yes, a lot. Well, how about that? Yeah, yeah, I want to settle down. I want a family. <sighs> you got the wrong girl. You'll be set up for the rest of your life. You don't know me. What do you know me? Two, three months. They had it all. They ran the show. And it was paradise. 
while it lasted. Randy! Get him in the... They found a guy's head in the desert. That's no good. We got a problem. He doesn't listen to me. Maybe he should get lost for a while. Take a vacation. Can't make it any clearer, Sam. I would just get out. I try to do everything for you, even though I knew deep down inside you would bury me. I buried you. You buried yourself. I have to be able to trust you with my life. Can I trust you? Can I trust you? I will go to the FBI. I will go to the police. I am not protecting you anymore. You want me to get out of my own town? You only exist out here because of me. He's a loose cannon. No! Stop it! You realize what you can do? You can get us all killed? You want to get rid of me? Here I am. Go ahead, get rid of me. <laughs>